For a few moments now, I want to share with you two statements made at two stone crosses in two towns that I'm associated with. One town is obviously here, that's not hard uh, to work out. Uh, the second one, which is the first I was speaking about, is the stone cross in Kirkubri, the Merkit cross that sits in the Sopri Gardens. And here's the first statement that was once given across that cross. In the early 2000s, when I was training for ordination in Glasgow, I worked with a minister called Bill Ferguson. Bill had been in Annan for around 14 years and then served a further 20 odd years in Glasgow at Broomhill. For whatever reason, and I don't know his connection, he was invited to a service in Kirkubri, somehow or another, about the sinking of the harvester, which happened, and many of you will remember, in 2000, January of 2000. Now, of course, the most affected parishes, Whithorn and the Isle, and the minister most involved, the Reverend Alec Curry, picking up all the pastoral work there. But Kirkubri was where the boat sailed from and where it would be harboured. Anyway, Bill was invited to some service at night. And as he left his car, those of you who know the Merkit Cross, at the junction, making his way into the Sopri Gardens towards the kirk that sits in the gardens in Kirkubri, he heard a man shout across. Hey, minister, is that you going into the kirk to make your excuses for God? Now, I don't know if Bill turned round and delivered a really clever answer, but as he sat in the vestry in Broomhill recounting this, even then I could see in his face that had stunned him, and I think it had hurt him. Here they were going in, what, praying for the families, praying for a place, trying to offer help, I don't doubt. But here was a voice calling from across the Merkit Cross, are you going in there to just make your excuses for God? Well, you see, when we have no gospel faith, what else could the minister be going in to do? Excuses. Without Christ, what hope is there in the minutes and milliseconds when the cold sea comes crashing through the open hatches of the boat? Many of the crew there were asleep. What justice can there be in the tribulation going through a court process? There's no guarantee that will bring any meaningful justice one way or another. So there you go, that first stone cross, that's what was called out. Are you just going in to make your excuses for God? I wonder if many stone crosses in the United Kingdom today have people standing at them who think the exact same thing that that man said. But those people dare not say it. I wonder why. Well, it could be out of respect for the dead. They don't want to say, all you're doing here is making excuses. Parading up to that stone cross. All you're doing is making excuses. Bowing your heads in silence and remembering them. All you're doing is making excuses. Having him in the uniform pray and read from his book and commend you to God's care, all you're doing is making excuses. I wonder if there's people who think it. 
but they don't say it out of respect for the dead and possibly fear of the living. But you know, maybe many a truth spoken in jest, outside of Christ, what hope is there for those who have faced great tribulations in the seconds before life ended? And what justice is there? You know, if, if Russia goes back into Russia, and that's an if rather than a when, will there be justice? For those women that will never see their husbands, and those children who will never see their fathers, would there be an earthly justice? I don't live by that first statement made at that stone cross. I live by a second one. It's on our war memorial along at Dashwood Square. The Penningham War Memorial, sited at Dashwood Square, Newton Stewart. You'll find it in the military records. That's what it's called, the Penningham War Memorial at Dashwood Square. On it, where I stand, where the reefs get laid, Romans 8, 37. That's why I read that passage. More than conquerors through him who loved us. In 1921, the Right Honourable Herbert Maxwell unveiled that in this parish. Thus that stone says something else, something quite different from the stone that got shouted over in Kirkubri all those years ago. That stone has been saying for over a hundred years that there is a king greater than any earthly king. Therefore, there is a hope for every soul in those dying seconds, and there is a justice over every perpetrator of evil. I don't know if Vladimir Putin will ever be taken to a human court. He'll be taken to a divine one, though. I know that. I don't know how it worked out for those people in Ukraine in the last seconds before something terrible happened. But I have a hope that even there, Christ was with them. And souls that maybe up until that moment never gave a second thought about the kingdom of heaven received it with such clarity. I'm not able to go back in time. And I understand that Bill Ferguson was caught flat-footed. But I would like to stand at the Mercat Cross now with the words of the cross over there. I would like it for someone to shout, are you just going into that kirk to make your excuses for God? I would shout back, no. I'm going into that kirk to proclaim that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. In two minutes of silence, would you please stand as we remember those who gave of themselves.